Look, it's a hat. It's not gonna hurt you, look. It must have been hot. Oh, it was very hot, yeah. I mean, you couldn't see anything either because the eyes misted up. So he was basically being sautéed while you were in there. And, uh, <laughs> it, it's quite sweet filming the scenes with Carrie Fisher. She'd be there with chocolate milk and cookies to revive me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you end up on the film? My grandmother, uh, I have her to thank for my movie career, basically, because she heard a radio announcement uh, from Lucasfilm who were looking for short people to be in the next Star Wars movie. Uh, she knew that I loved Star Wars, and she obviously knew I was shorter than average, and put two and two <laughs> together. And I didn't meet George Lucas or do an audition. I simply went up to Elstree Studios in London and met with a production assistant who said, do you like Star Wars? And I went, yeah. Uh, do you want to play an Ewok? And I said, what's one of those? And she said, well, go down to the wardrobe department and you'll find out. And that was oh. it. That's how I got in, in my first oh, movie. That sounds magical. Yeah. I was known as Wicket the Ewok, and I appeared on all 